Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The recent visit of UK's Prime Minister Boris Johnson was important for defense cooperation between the two countries. Post the visit, a statement was issued by British High Commission in India which said that both leaders noted cooperation in key areas of strategic collaboration including modern fighter aircraft and jet engine advanced code technology. In response, the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi welcomed the UK announcement of an open general export license in defense to facilitate technology engagement with India and open the opportunity for India to participate in UK's aviation and naval shipbuilding programs. The prospect of working collectively on marine electric propulsion know-how was mentioned on the highest stage of two countries. This is really some good news for Indian defense sector and why our next report will explain you more. As we all are aware, the Achilles heel of Indian defense sector is indigenous engine, be it an aircraft engine or naval warship. The ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine has raised alarm bells for the Indian naval warship as close to 34 warship of Navy is powered by Ukrainian Zoria Masprocate engine. Apart from Ukrainian engine, Indian Navy warship heavily relies on German MTU engines. Recently, Germany has refused to offer the MTU engine to China which has impacted the delivery of submarines to Pakistan which is being built by China. The Indian defense market is very huge. Indian Navy needs more than 130 marine gas turbine engines and few more as spares. Considering the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, the door is open for UK's engine giant Rolls-Royce to collaborate with India in this area. Rolls-Royce had already signed a memorandum of understanding with HAL which will provide support in installation, packaging, marketing and services support for Rolls-Royce MT-30 marine engines in India. Under the umbrella of this MOU, the first time both Rolls-Royce and HAL will be working together in the area of marine applications. Tom Bell, the president of Rolls-Royce Defense has said, as India focuses on its vision of modernization and self-reliance in defense, we are looking forward to introducing MT-30 to customers in India together with HAL. The MT-30 marine gas turbine engines are some of the mature and successful gas turbine technologies globally available to India and UK has agreed to supply these engines for fitment on board Indian warships through the TOT route of HAL. Earlier too, HL has carried out licensed work for UK's Jaguar fighter jet engines which is Rolls-Royce Turbomeca Adore MK804 and MK811 engines since 1981. The MT-30 gas turbine are an aeroderivative gas turbines for marine propulsion with an efficient power to weight ratio. They come with some advanced features like no operational limitations on restarts and reinitiation of turbines anytime after normal stop or even after an emergency shutdown. Such features are presently not available in conventional gas turbines in use by Indian Navy. The MT-30 turbines have low vibration levels, they were making the surface ship quieter in water and further this improves the ship's submarine detection capabilities using the onboard sonars due to lesser noise factor component. UK Royal Navy 65,000 ton modern aircraft carriers HMS Queen Elizabeth and HMS Prince of Wales are some of the largest operational warships which utilizes the MT-30 marine gas turbine engines. A fully integrated full electric propulsion which comprises all propulsion system and ships electrical power generation through advanced induction motor technology provides an autonomous operation on board. The MT-30 technology has been in use on board with other modern US warships like USS Freedom. MT-30 generator packages also provide the electrical power for US Navy's all-electric Zumwalt class destroyers. In fact, seven warship types worldwide are utilizing MT-30 technology for ship's propulsion. With the selection of MT-30 gas turbine, Indian Navy 2 in future will be ready towards achieving electrical propulsion for its warship which has emerged as the technology for the 21st century. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, 
I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector